Yo, hey Tim is here from theblogging.com and today I'm showing you top 10 WordPress plugins that I regularly use when I'm designing a website. I'm going to be placing timestamps for the video so you can skip along to whichever plugin you're interested in. I wanted to know that this video is sponsored by Hostinger. If you are watching this video and still doesn't have a WordPress website set up or simply not satisfied with the performance nor the price of your current host, I advise you to try Hostinger right now. I invite you to use my link down below in the description box to benefit from 15% off. Here you can browse all the plans you want. If it is for your first website, I advise you to get the premium shared hosting plan which includes a lot of features such as free domain, SSL certificates and the ability to host 100 websites. You can either go for the 12 months plan for only $28 or the 48 months plan for $115. You then create an account, choose the payment method and make sure to apply my coupon code GEEKBLOGGING to get a 15% discount. However, if you want to step up, I advise you to get the business shared hosting plan, which is the one I'm using personally. Basically, you get everything bigger, faster, comparing to the premium sharing hosting plan with a lot of other premium features. For the 12 months, you can get it for $78. And for the 48 months period, the total is $178. Always don't forget to use my link down below and my coupon code GeekBlogging for 15% off. The first plugin that I want to talk about is called WP Forms. I potentially use WP Forms more than any other plugin on this list simply because you always need some sort of a call to action or contact form or email enrollment form somewhere on your website. This is a very simple and easy to use plugin, yet still very useful with the amount of capabilities that it has. You can put together some kind of an intricate contact form for your business website in the contact section to gather insights of what type of work you're going to be doing for them. You could insert a weekly newsletter enrollment into the footer of your website using a name and email field to build your email marketing list. Or you could have them fill out a simple questionnaire including their number so you can get in contact with them later. There are also many options that you can creatively use this plugin for. All you have to do is choose your simple contact form template or make a blank form and then add fields by dragging and dropping them into place. You can specify what type of characters you want entered into a field like numbers or letters and you can also label those fields as well. After that you can go ahead and mess around with the settings a little bit. And you can change where the emails go, where clients contact you. Uh, finally, you can insert that form into your website and completely customize how it looks by using a page builder like Elementor. Next plugin is called Pretty Links. Now, Pretty Links is a fantastic plugin that helps with the SEO of your website, but it can also provide more readability and clean list to your website. As well, using the plugin, you are able to customize or rather cloak your pages URL with an another cleaner one. For instance, your URL might look something like this. A whole bunch of letters and numbers. But you can change it to look like something a little bit cleaner like this. And that way, your link looks a lot more clean and easy to understand. In the same way, I usually end up using this plugin for affiliate link and managing many links at the same time, making it easier to keep track of all of them. When you receive an affiliate link, they are usually filled with a long string of letters and numbers that look a little bit cluttered. So you can use this plugin to redirect or mask that link with a prettier one, in addition to making your link look prettier. You can also include keywords into your page URL to improve your site's SEO. The next plugin is more important for those of you who are running a blogging website. When you are constantly giving people other informations that they might want to share, but it is also 
important for those of you running e-commerce websites if you're giving out products that people may want to share with their friends. This plugin is called Grow by Mediavine and it is a social sharing button plugin that allows you to insert buttons that will share the posts or products to social media in a clean and a, prof and a professional way. The next plugin allows you to integrate your Facebook Messenger app onto your website so you can live chat with anybody who clicks on the icon. This way, you can create your own Facebook business account and easily message your clients live from your smartphone or computer at any time. And if you get tired of constantly messaging clients, you can always hire someone to manage that Facebook page for you in the future. This feature is really unique because people always like fast responses and also talking to real person. So providing them with the opportunity to communicate directly with you is invaluable. If you're a small time freelancer offering your services, you can answer questions and negotiate prices quickly. You don't even have to be at your computer to do it. Have you ever been on a website that you were about to click the exit button, but then a pop-up display over the website saying something like, uh, before you go, do you want to sign up for our weekly newsletter to stay up to date on and then wherever? Well, you will be able to do that with your website as well with a plugin called Ice Cream. You can choose from tons and tons of different templates for header banners or call to action pop-ups to insert into your website and then you can further customize them. After selecting one, you can display a banner across the top of your website mentioning a store-wide discount for some of kind for some kind of a holiday sale. Or you can offer an email subscription to your weekly newsletter for your blog. There is tons and tons of ways that you can use this plugin to grow your email list and yield additional conversions to for your website. I have used this plugin many times before with moderation, but I definitely think it is a great addition for your website. All right, let's talk about security for your website. And for a second now, it is widely known that securing websites for malware and hackers is absolutely essential. For this, I definitely recommend the WordFence security plugin. WordFence security will fortify your website with firewalls and malware scans, and it will also include things like blocking live traffic, login security, and much more. Now, an important distinction is that I am a web designer, definitely not a cybersecurity specialist. So I don't know exactly how most of this work, but I know the basics of a, how a firewall works. I just don't want to get into it in this video. That's for you to do your own research if you are interested. All I know is WordFence has over 4 million active installations and it is arguably the most trusted and widely used security plugin for encryption and firewall defense for websites. Next is Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress. If there is the golden rule in website management, it will be paying attention to your metrics. I cannot stress that enough or how important it is actually to pay attention to the traffic that comes into your site and also where it's coming from. It is absolutely crucial now that's being said, if you already check up on your metrics, you're most likely using Google Analytics because it is free and incredibly easy to use. Just go to analytics.google.com and you can hook it up to your website. What this plugin allow you to do is take a summary report of your analytics and post them on your actual WordPress dashboard so that you are constantly up to date on what is going on with your website. In addition, this can also help you to deliver the website to a client, for instance, that they have easy access to the website's metrics right there on the dashboard because you have already placed it in front of them. After you install and activate the plugin, you have to log in into your Google Analytics account and pull some special access code to copy and paste into the plugin settings. Once you do that, you will have live metric updates on your dashboard. This next plugin that I'm going to talk about is probably the largest and most powerful of all the plugins on this list. The amount of capabilities, customization, and power it gives you is just incredible. If you are looking to make money online by selling products, 
either via dropshipping or managing your own products, but you don't want to pay for a Shopify subscription or something of that nature, then all you have to do is build a free website and download WooCommerce, which is an extension that comes with a tons and tons of pre-made templates for online stores that looks like this. After selecting a template from the many different choices that you have, you can go in and edit each individual page using a page builder like Elementor and completely customize your site. And I've got a video on the channel that shows you WooCommerce and how to create online stores. Now, using this plugin, you will be able to add products to your website, set up a checkout process, set up different payment methods and shipping methods. You will be able to discount products and create coupons and much, much more. This is an incredibly powerful tool that you can use to build your e-commerce store and business. And I definitely recommend doing some research and checking it out or just watching my videos on my channel about it. This next plugin is really powerful addition that you can use to integrate with WooCommerce. The previous plugin that we just talked about, CarFlows is a plugin that works well with Elementor and WooCommerce to create customizable sales funnels for your business. And upon installing and activating cart flows, you have access to a very large repository of templates where you can customize your very own sales funnel by putting together a series of pages connected for a customizable checkout process. When you download a template, it inserts a series of pages that you can customize with a page builder like Elementor, where you can create a landing page that leads to a checkout page that leads to a thank you page or an upsell page or whatever related products that you want to show. The last plugin that I want to talk about is probably one of my favorite plugins of the entire list. It is called White Label. This plugin is incredibly powerful. It has a lot of functionality to it. It allows you to completely customize the back end of your website and lock in screen in case you have like a membership based product service where they actually have to log in using WordPress. Allow me to explain a little bit further. When you are in the process of delivering a website to a client, you can completely customize the backend dashboard of the website. And by this, I mean the WordPress dashboard using the page builder Elementor to make it much easier for your client to understand. You can also place a contact form uh, from WP Forbes for instance, write in the dashboard so that your client can email you anytime they have a question regarding their admin privileges on the website. This is guys, so all the links used will be in the caption box. Click the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and share this video with your friends. Peace out.